Welcome back to Let Us Learn to Lead video series on free open source software prepared by M. Srinivasan, Training Associate Mathematics, Kendra Vidyalaya Sangatan, Zonal Institute of Education and Training, Mumbai. Self learning contents in video form on GeoGebra. Dynamic Mathematics software is presented at this video series. To view the contents, kindly join Google Classroom by using the class code 73AUMBO. In this video, you will learn designing worksheet to construct a triangle when two sides and one angle are given. For preparing this video lecture, I used Windows 10 operating system, a licensed version, GeoGebra 5.0, a free open source software, and free open source screen recorder software. Let us start. This is the worksheet which we are going to design. Construct a triangle with AB is equal to 6 cm, angle BAC is equal to 70 degrees and AC is equal to 5 cm. We will start with AB, then we will measure that angle 70 degrees, then we will try to locate that point C because AC is 5 cm and we will complete the triangle. After the triangle is constructed, we will try to explore the other angles. ABC is the required triangle, the other angles are made. But please note, you cannot reshape this triangle because it is a constructed triangle using the given parameters. After this, now you can ask the children to find the area. They can find the length of the altitude. The length of the altitude here is corrected to one decimal place. Ask them to find the area. This area is directly available from here as area, ask them to check it out. Let us try to design this dynamic worksheet from scratch. Let us start. I have taken GeoGebra worksheet with geometry as the perspective. I am going to construct a triangle. Therefore, let us tell the children that I am going to construct Triangle symbol is there over here. Triangle ABC with AB is equal to 6 cm. You can type as per your convenience. And angle, you have the symbol over here. In this plus minus, you are having the symbol here. Okay. And angle BAC uh, is equal to 70 you are having the symbol of degrees over here, degree over here and AC is equal to, uh, I think it is um, 5 centimeter. Okay, well. You got it now? Now let us start. The line segment, we want AB of 6 centimeter, for I am taking the segment with the given length, I am putting over here, uh, well, uh, before we start, I think the thing which you have to do is go to this option. Rounding off to two decimal place, labeling of new points, you do it. Otherwise, when you take this uh, segment, it, the A will not come. Okay. I am taking segment with the given length. I am pressing A. Automatically, it will ask the length. AB is 6 cm, therefore I am putting 6. I want BAC as 70 degrees. Therefore, I will take BAC. Go to this angle. Angle. BAC. B. A, C it will ask. Therefore, what you have to do is, you have to take this angle with given size, B, A, when you touch it, it will ask immediately what the angle you want. You type over there, 70. Now, this A dash, B dash is located there. Now, what you can do is, press escape, and then, press escape, and then, bring that okay, A over here and B over here. Okay. Now I will take one uh, ray and I will try to complete it. This ray is going over there. Now this B dash may disturb me. Therefore, I am removing it. Now this C we have to locate. Now AC is equal to 5 centimeter. Therefore, let me take a circle 
with the center and radius with a let me draw a circle of radius 5 cm okay now it cuts this uh, ray at a point let us go to the point of intersection you know how to do it don't go and put your cursor over here simply touch the circle once and touch the line once because this is the point of intersection of the ray and the circle you got see now now i can go for a polygon now 1 b then c and then a i got a b c now i don't want the remaining uh, things therefore i can right click and then show the object again i can right click this circle and then show the object now i got this triangle now now you can tell the children that this triangle ABC is the required triangle. Therefore, go to this triangle. Already it is there in that list. Therefore, triangle ABC is the required triangle. Okay. It's okay. Now, I think here the 70 has not come properly. I think uh, we can, if you have, want to change anything, go to this base text and then accordingly you do the changes. For example, here. I think uh, that 70 degrees has not uh, been uh, come properly. Therefore, you can put 0 over here and then uh, close it. Okay, 70 degrees come. ABC is the required triangle. Now, you can ask the children to measure the other angles. You can get the other angles from here also. Go to this angle. To get angle C, go in cyclic order. That is touch A, touch C and touch B. You get that angle. How to get angle B? Again, go to this. Already it got selected. Again, you can select it. Angle. To get angle B, touch C, touch B, touch A. Because in default, it is measuring in a cyclic way. Therefore, now all the angles are obtained. Now, you can ask the children to get, uh, this is actually uh, one decimal place. Therefore, you are getting it as 62.4 and 47.6. When you add all of them, you are getting 180 degrees. Well, now you can ask the children to find out the area of this triangle. For that, they will be trying to find the altitude. How to get the altitude? Go to this perpendicular line perpendicular line draw a perpendicular from c to a b how to do it simply touch this c and touch this a b a perpendicular line has been drawn now this perpendicular line touches that a b at a point let us find the point of intersection of this base and this perpendicular line okay and this base i got it as e now e is the foot of the perpendicular now, I am going for a line segment. I want only the CE because I want to measure the CE. I am doing it. Well, escape. Now, we don't want this perpendicular line which we have drawn for our purpose. Therefore, remove it. Now, you got this CE as the altitude. Now, how to get the length of this altitude now? Very simple. Right click it. Select it. And right click it. Segment is selected. Go to the object properties. Here in the show label, you select value. Now you got it now as 4.7. Remember, it is corrected to one decimal place. Therefore, 4.7. Now you can ask the children to apply the formula half into base into height to get the area of this triangle. Let them calculate. Now that calculation can be obtained directly from GeoGebra. Go to this angle. Click this area and then click this triangle now. Ask the children whether they got this 14.1 may be corrected to one decimal place, 14.1. Now you can declare in the class that altitude, remember this altitude will not change, altitude is equal to 4.7 centimeter, you can declare, then you can declare that area also area <coughs> is equal to 14.1 centimeter from the symbol you can have this square okay now the children will understand how to get the altitude and how to get the area now we have simply constructed a triangle we have told them that how to construct and how to get the remaining angles we have asked them how to get the altitude and look at how to get the area of the triangle and check it using GeoGebra. Thank you. Let us learn to lead.